Hello everybody, I hope you all are having a beautiful day. Um, I have been trying to tell people about calling me Satans and Devils, but I don't think people understand, so. Alright, other fishy. So, I was minding my business and somebody left me a comment. And by the end of the conversation, I told them I'm just going to end the conversation here because I pointed out what they had actually done. So, I'm going to show you guys in real time what people are doing with their intelligence and wisdom. So, this person came on my um, Yeshua Returns to the Mount video and was like, the Bible says judge and if you can't, you hand it over to the Most High who is not us. All right. This is Egyptian mythology. I believe you're pulling from, it's about you being the I am, you being who I am. But the Egyptians were the ones thinking themselves as gods. So that's false. The idea of Egyptians being gods did not actually come about until after the Hyksos. Now, everybody talks about the Hebrews. These are the Hebrews, the Hyksos. They invaded Egypt around the 1800s. And I've shown this in a couple of the videos, but, and I'm going to explain why I'm doing this. The Asiatic invaders. These people around the 17, 1900s, after Mentuhotep II unified Egypt, they invaded Egypt and then became the Hebrews, Hyksos Hebrews. So I'm going to go back and explain some real quick because this person, I told you all, when people call me the devil and the Satan, it just. So um, if you can be God, I don't know why you're saying Yahshua can't. So I'm kind of getting sick and tired of people saying this to me. So I'm going to show y'all something real quick. What does Yehanan mean? I am gracious. What does Joshua mean? I am salvation. When you say Yeshua, you're taking Y-E-H and then taking Shua. And then what you're doing is you're saying, I am gracious salvation. The salvation of Yeho. Va. I am deliverance. Oh, but people still, people will come up to me and call me devils and stuff and then say, why can't Yeshua be God? First of all, y'all don't know the covenant. Second of all, y'all don't even realize you're saying a transliteration of my name. It's the pure irony of it. What does Yehohanan mean? Because see down here it says Yehoshua also, right? The salvation of Yeho. Yehohanan, the mercy of who I am. The man who was crucified, Elihu, the fourth man in Job. He is my who I am. <laughs> the same as Yeho. They'll be like Yehovah and Yahweh. It's the same thing when you take the, the vowels out. So back to the program at hand because this actually kind of. So um, then the person said, Noah didn't flood the world. The definition of Noah is peace. He was born looking like the angels. Bro, I can't. So if anybody has watched my videos, not only will you understand why this is complete rubbish, but the actual statement that this purpose was rubbish. Noah comes from Pharaoh's and I explained a million times how and why. So I told them, thank you. I appreciate the feedback. I was like, the religions you follow were stolen from Egypt. And really, when I say stolen, it's because what they did was started buffoonery with it and started killing and murdering people with it. So then... This person tells me, because maybe I'm tweaking. This is Egyptian mythology I believe you're pulling from. It's about you being the I am. Then she said, Noah didn't flood the earth. And if Yeshua can't be God, why can't I? So if I transliterate that, if you can be who I am, I don't know why you're saying Yeshua can't. Babble, pure stupidity. Then let me take it even further. No, they weren't stolen from Egypt. Here's the kicker. When she started calling me Satan's, that's a doctrine Satan gets people to believe. Yet the Hebrews, the Hyksos, weren't Egyptians. So in the book of, in the Torah and in Joshua, does it not say all the Egyptians who weren't circumcised were consumed and the ones of the next generation lived? It's the Hyksos. So if you look at America, you can say there are Americans that are Christian, right? That's the same thing as saying 
Egyptians and the Hyksos blended together and made Hebrews, just like African-Americans and Caucasians blend together and make Christians. Which God is Yahweh? Because who is Yahweh in Egyptian mythology? Considering Osiris is Nimrod. Osiris is Nimrod. Man. So the dragon is Pharaoh. This is according to y'all scriptures. If you don't believe me, go Google it. Who is, is the dragon Pharaoh? Then when you find out it is, who is the one that slithered into the garden at first? The Pharaoh. But before he came mighty and powerful and flooded the earth, me and armor, they were just kings. If you go do actually real history. So, because sometimes I feel like people don't trust in what I'm saying. So, if you don't believe me, let me show you real quick. There were no pharaohs before the Hyksos. I will make you a god to them. Man, If this, the book even says the stuff. That's why it's so funny when people call me the devil. The, on, or, the honorific title of Pharaoh for a ruler did not appear until the period known as the New Kingdom in the 15th, 1570 after Amos. Uh oh, hold on. Hyksos, 1900. Then the Hebrews and Pharaohs appear. Right. So let me let's let's research these things. So um, in Egyptian mythology, because in my video I said it's from Egypt. Then the woman attacks me and says it's from Egypt, agrees with me. Then when I say it's Egyptian mythology, calls me the Satan and says, no, that's what people, that's what the devil want people to believe. What? Y'all are so far into the tower of Babel, Babel, mixed stupidity that I don't, I just don't understand. If anybody else out there is alive, I don't know if these are bots. I don't, cause humans in real life is doing this. I don't know if this is like AI, if we're just in like some type of whatever. But who I am will not be mocked, tormented, or played with. Who I am will not be tormented and played with by these fools, these silly people anymore. So that's why I told this person I'm going to end the conversation. Because after calling me all types of devils and stuff, I don't... Because look, then she'll say, um, Asherah, who, whom, who I am spoke against and give all these names... Um, the story about the flood is even found in Congolese culture and they are Hebrews. How in the fuck they were the Kemet? It was Ham or Kemet or whatever. And then, and they started to abolish Maya because it became bloody violent with gods. All this Asherah and Baal and Malek, that's from the Middle East. Brahma, Abraham, that's from the Middle East and the Indus Valley and all that. They are mixing all these cultures together like the book says they will because they plan with it and making it their God. So they're living up to it. I promise you they are. I don't even I don't even really know what to say to some people sometimes. So. I mean, you guys can do what you want to do in life. I'm not here to argue with people. That book says, oh, they'll transliterate the mail. The Joshua says, oh, one day I'll come back and judge. Elijah says, just like the fire will come down. But then when any of this is done, people are playing in la-la land in the wilderness. Thanks to Aaron and the pharaohs, right? Because before that, it was kings, mean armor, who spread all these gods in the first place. And then we'll say... I am who I am isn't from Egypt. 
What? If you look at, if you go read Ham, go tell me which families came first. If I remember correctly, it was the Egyptians and them and cut, uh, Kush and put, 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 and all the names. Then way later down the line, Nimrod and the Babylonians. But like I said, I'm not here to argue with people. You all can do what you want to do. And like I tell y'all, y'all keep calling people to Satan and it is what it is.